Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Scorpios who are watching. So if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Scorpio, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started, Scorpio, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Scorpio, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. First, what we'll do is start with some of my specific channel messages to get in touch with the energy you're dealing with currently. This could be the energy that's coming towards you as well. But let's go ahead and see what Scorpio is dealing with when it comes to love. Let's get a few more cards, please, for my Scorpios. What energy is Scorpio currently dealing with when it comes to love in this person? Who's this person that Scorpio is dealing with, please? Let's go ahead and get a few more cards for now to match this energy. How does this person truly feel towards Scorpio? What are their true feelings, emotions, and actions? Let's, let's get one more card, please. Alright, Scorpio. So two cards came out with that last pool. Let's go ahead and take one of them. Let's take this card, Scorpio, but to read as an extra message, we have just be natural with me. All right, Scorpio, and if needed, I'll go ahead and refer back to this card for some additional energy. But as you could see here, we do have our first few cards. Before I do go ahead and start your reading, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I am describing from your person, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. So let's see what we have. Let's clear this up before we get lost. We have... If you ever gave me another chance, I never screw it up. My way or the highway. We also have, I'm walking away, leaving what's behind us in the past. You plus me, infinity, there's no limits. And my actions may change, but how I feel towards you stays the same. So Scorpio, I feel like this is someone you're currently dealing with, someone that you've known for some time, and between you and this person, you might have history together, or you've been there for them, Scorpio, because they are the person that you want to put your love into, the person you were thinking long-term with, but I feel like their energy hasn't been the most beneficial for your energy, Scorpio. It might seem like this person weighs you down, or... And by weighing you down, it, it's more of like an energy exchange where they project a lot of their maybe insecurities or a lot of their issues onto you, Scorpio. And I feel like you did deal with it. You did try to love them and accommodate them. But I feel like at this point, it's, it's a heavy energy that is not the best for you. So you may be walking away from this person, Scorpio, especially... If you have been putting out your love towards this person, you do everything that you can for this person. And if, for example, say they want one thing, you want the other or a different thing. It's like you choose what they want to make them happy. So it's like you're, you've been sacrificing for this person in order to love them and keep them happy. But in return, I feel like this person... It's like they have this stubborn energy, maybe even an attitude, and it's like, why bring that to me when all I want to do is help you? So it's like you can't take it anymore, Scorpio. We have on walking away, leaving what's behind us in the past. I feel like this is your energy. There's only so much you can do, and all that you can do, it's like you put it, you've 
you've already put those actions and what you can do into this connection and I, I feel like you're walking away because this energy is weighing you down like there's not much else you can do unless it it requires like breaking your back for this person and I feel like that's not what you're about to do Scorpio you're not about to over exhaust yourself overwhelm yourself um, trying to make things work with this person you plus me infinity there's no limit so I feel like this is a person you already know Scorpio someone that you were thinking long term with perhaps someone that you've been through a lot with so they may have always expected for you to stay or for you to just be with them but your feelings matter to Scorpio we have my way or the highway I feel like this is this person's energy as far as them being stubborn or not easy to work with maybe they try to make things difficult maybe they like to doesn't have to resonate but maybe you feel Scorpio that they like starting an argument or just getting a reaction out of you but I, I feel like this is this person's energy in the way that they're very particular they're maybe not the easiest to work with you might accommodate them Scorpio but when it comes to accommodating you they don't do it so much my actions may change but how I feel towards you stays the same so deep down Scorpio you might have love for this person still but for yourself you need to distance or break away from this and that's of course only if you feel that way towards this connection or if what I've been describing resonates for you but I feel like deep down you wanted it to work out you plus me infinity there's no limits but you have to do things for yourself Scorpio so like I've been saying could be you leaving this person could be a person from the past already if you ever gave me another chance I'd never screw it up this person wanting to come back around and reconcile with you we also have let's clear this up before we get lost I feel like this is also their energy Scorpio because once you remove yourself your energy is gone so this person they feel it and you're serious this time around Scorpio maybe it only took one time for this energy to occur and for you to distance yourself but they feel the absence of your energy let's get the last few cards for Scorpio please one more card all right so we have our last four card Scorpio then we'll pull some situations Oracle cards we have my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you I'm just not ready we also have your energy sticks with me I savor and cherish it I feel like you are my reflection I realize that I left too soon and I'm away but not far so of course Scorpio um, the energy that I am describing the roles could be reversed here so how I've been describing this person's energy that could be your energy instead however this reading resonates for you but with the rest of the cards we have for some of my Scorpios out there I feel like this was maybe hard to break away from Scorpio you two don't have to be in total separation maybe it's more of just a break from one another and this is someone that you do hope things will work out with still um we have your energy sticks with me i savor and cherish it i do feel like this is your energy scorpio because throughout the ups and downs or the bad moments in between the bad moments and the good times there was a reason that you fell for this person and there was a reason why this person earned your loyalty or why you were giving this person your loyalty and love so you wouldn't have done that just out of the blue or for no reason so you could have hopes of um making things right with this person or having things work out with them and of course i i feel like it's because of how you feel towards them could be something much deeper than that we have i feel like you are my reflection especially if you and this person have known each other for a long time of or i was about to say 
of course but if you two have known each other for a long time and there has been ups and downs and things that you two have overcame together your love might run so much deeper um and the reason why you have waited this connection out hoping that it will get better is because you you know this person like you know yourself scorpio so that might be a factor in you wanting to reconcile with them if you do feel that way and with the energy i've been describing i feel like it's mostly um like not agreeing with one another there's a card in this deck irreconcilable differences so not seeing eye to eye that stubborn energy someone not accommodating the other's needs so i feel like you are my reflection we have my silence is not a reflection of how i feel towards you i'm just not ready your energy scorpio if you have been taking a break from this person or you walked away from this for some time I feel like you're not ready to really get this going again. You need some time for yourself and maybe just sorting out what you really want. We do have, I realize that I left too soon. Um, on the other hand, Scorpio, this could be your energy. Um, if you walked away for good, you might be having, in a way, regrets or, and once again, only take what resonates for you, but this could also be pondering should I stay? Should like should I have gone? Like, is this the right decision about this connection? Um, because with your energy, it's like you had a lot of love for this person and you kept trying until you couldn't try anymore. So if anything, having second thoughts if you maybe did leave this connection and I'm away but not far. I feel like this is also your energy, Scorpio, perhaps. Um no matter what like if this person needed someone you would be there for them um also if you if you are taking a break from this person or this connection could be your energy and once again roles could be reversed here let's see what situations oracle cards we have for you scorpio let's get a few cards for scorpio please Okay, we have triggers, name, car, place. Let's go ahead and get another card, please, for Scorpio. Love, adore, admire, enchantment. Let's get one more card, please, for Scorpio. And gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. And bottom of the deck, we do have emotions coming, going, threatened, embarrassed appearances, and interlude pause timing factor. So yeah, Scorpio, you might be waiting for things to pan out. Maybe time is what you're giving into this connection. Time for yourself to see what you want to do next, what's best for you. We have triggers, name, car, place love adore admire enchantment we also have gossip petty jealousy envy so with these few cards i feel like for some of my scorpios this is a person like i've been saying that you've been dealing with for a while you may have been with them for some time years even and i feel like you two went through some things together and you watched this person mature so did they so did they they saw you mature and like grow up in a way but i feel like maybe this person is still stuck in like this immature phase or maybe they they just haven't like fully like yeah matured in a way as far as their mindset we have this gossip card petty jealousy envy I feel like this relates to this person's energy and maybe there was just a lot of outsiders that you did not appreciate Scorpio especially if you're trying to do things on a one-to-one -one level like it's me and you going through this no one else so why do they know about our business we have triggers name car place this connection may have triggered you Scorpio perhaps bringing you into the past 
what you went through with this person, especially if they brought up things from the past and they tried to hold little things over you, control you, or manipulate you. But I feel like you, Scorpio, you really love this person or you have love for them. So it could also be a person where, despite this energy I just described, there are some moments where you see through this person. We have, we had this card, threatened, embarrassed appearances. Like, you know the person underneath that face paint, you know, Scorpio. So just the, the idea of maybe what this person once was to you, um, that might bring you closer together or yeah, bring you closer together towards them. But let's see what sign might be relevant, Scorpio. We have Aquarius, Cancer. Let's get one more sign please for Scorpio and Aries. All right. Scorpio. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.